Over the last few years, I spent so much time typing up notes for my video calls until I find this AI note taker called Nota AI. So this AI tool takes notes for you in your online and in your offline meetings, and then it summarizes it via AI, and the summaries are really good. And the best part about it is they have a free tier and offer a free trial. In this video, I'll show you exactly how you get the most out of this tool and be so much more productive by summarizing meetings more effectively and by not having to take notes anymore. Let's get right to it. Nota is basically your AI meeting assistant and AI note taker all in one. It records and transcribes everything and then turns it into actionable summaries. It works by taking in your meetings and then creates AI transcription and then it creates automatic summaries as well as action items and you can share those meetings then with other people. It also has another cool feature here that allows you to translate your meetings and to have multi-language support for your meeting. So this is great for corporations that have meetings with people that speak multiple languages in the calls. In order to use this tool you can start for free by just clicking this here and logging in with your Google account. In this case I am I already created a Google account with my email address and I'm ready to go. If I now want to use this in my Google Meet then I can just add my meeting ID. So if I go to Google Meet and I create a call new meeting start a meeting instantly then I just copy this ID here and I can go on to record an online meeting. I just simply put in the meeting invitation and then I click on transcribe now. So you can see here this meeting is in progress. Hello there Mo. And I can see here that someone wants to join this call. In this case, this is my note about. I'm gonna admit this person. And now this shows up as my note taker. I usually tell people in this call, hey everyone, is it all right if I add my note taker to this call? It will help me focus on the meeting and none of this information will be shared with anyone. And then usually people agree to it and allow the note about it. As you can see here, the data is encrypted. It has SOC2 and APPI compliance, which means that the data is secure. Long story short, if I go back here now to Noda, I can see that this Noda app is transcribing my meeting notes live. And if I have multiple speakers in this call, then it even tells me which speaker is talking at the moment. And this is super helpful as you can see exactly what notes are coming in live. But usually I don't really pay attention to this while I'm in the meeting. I usually just pay attention to the person in the meeting. However, let's uh, end this call and see what we ended up with with meeting notes. If we go back here to the transcription, we can see that this meeting has finished and we can now either play back the meeting or we can read the transcript on the right side. So this is just the transcript and this is helpful if you wanna read the transcript or edited or sent the transcript to someone else. But what I love about this Nota app is that you can now summarize your notes with AI. If I click on the left side, I'm gonna select my meeting uh, templates and I want this to be summarized as a daily stand-up meeting. I'm gonna click on this and it will go through my whole meeting list and it will create the template that I have set it up for, for my daily stand-ups. So I usually run my daily stand-ups by having what was completed yesterday, what is planned for today, issues and progress. And then it even links to to parts where I talk about these things. I also mentioned risks and help needed. And if any of this is not necessary for this call, for example, no help needed here, I can just delete this and now I'm ready to share my meeting summary with my colleagues. One more thing to note here is that you can use it with all types of platforms, not only with Google Meet, but you can also use this with Zoom meetings, with Teams meetings and all sorts of other platforms. However, you don't only need to use it in online meetings, you can also use that in offline meetings and you can get the offline meetings started right away by clicking on instant record. So if I click on instant record and click on record and transcribe, uh, I need to allow it to use the microphone. And right now it is starting the Nota offline note taker. And the nice thing about this note taker, I just leave my laptop open and I can speak with my team in person and don't have to worry about taking notes. And at the end of the meeting, I can still have the nice summary that I get from all of my online meetings. And that's what I really love about this tool. It is super easy to use. It's barely any hassle. And I have all of my transcriptions right there for me. And then when the meeting is done, I will show you exactly the same thing that we just did. I can then send out a summary to everyone that was involved in the meeting. And everyone is super impressed that I got the meeting summary so concise and so quickly done. Let's end this meeting by clicking on this dot here. And this time I'm just gonna have a general uh, meeting template. So I'm gonna select this and it will automatically generate my meeting summary for this in-person meeting. And as you can see here, pretty much everything that we talked about and it even links to the specific parts of where we talk about these things. Here's an advanced tip. If you want to chat with your meeting uh, summary, you can simply go forward slash and then say ask AI in one sentence what was this meeting about? 
and now it goes through your whole meeting and it just gives you one sentence about what your meeting was about. And you can ask much more complex things. For example, when deadlines are, what a certain person ask about, what my to-do list is, what my tasks are, who I need to send emails to. And you can just have that conversation with your transcript right there in the browser. Another super powerful pro feature that I wanna share with you is that you can also use old recordings and old meeting notes and upload them to Noda AI. You can do that with video files, audio files, or you can even pull in videos from YouTube and get them summarized and then you can chat with them and get a summary of them. Here's an example. I'm gonna use a product marketing uh, meeting that is publicly available on YouTube and I'm just gonna click on um, upload and transcribe file. I'm gonna select import from URL and I'm gonna upload this right here. It is successfully uploaded. So now I go back here to my meetings. It is currently transcribing the meeting and this takes a few seconds because this is a very long file. This is a 40 minute meeting. As you can see here, we have 40 minutes worth of meeting transcriptions and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna go back to my uh, template and I'm gonna go to the template that I often use called a team meeting. I'm gonna click on use this template and it's creating the summary for me. In this template, I cover the topics discussed, the review, the progress, the issues, and the decisions that are made during this call. And here we go. This is what was covered. Uh, corporate event support, GitLab 14 launches, product announcements, infographic. In the review here, we have some timestamps. Here we talk about progress of the different things. And here we talk about issues dis discussed. And then here are crucial decisions that are made. If I wanna learn more about what happened at a certain time, for example, here decided to maintain green color scheme for competitive comparison infographic, I can click on this link and it will bring me exactly to what was discussed right here. This is super cool and powerful and I love that they have this feature. And here's one more cool thing that I wanna share with you and that is that you can actually use all of this transcript within ChatGPT or Claude and create even more custom prompts with it. For example, let me copy this whole text and I go to ChatGPT. I created a special prompt here that allows me to send up follow-up emails to my team that are very specific to my use case. So I'm gonna use this prompt here and I'm gonna copy the whole prompt. I'm going back to ChatGPT, I paste this prompt in and then I can now go to Noda and I copy all of the meeting transcripts and copy this in here now in triple quotes. And it will generate a custom email to follow up with the whole team. How cool is that? Look at that. It is very tailored to that specific meeting and it is super powerful and super useful. If you wanna get access to my meeting productivity guide that includes this link, uh, it's linked it down below in the video. But let's get right back to Noda. All right, now that we're back in Noda, I wanna show you one more thing that is super powerful and that is the integrations that it allows you to do. So the beautiful thing is you can connect this now with your Microsoft Outlook or with your Google Calendar and it knows already about the meetings that are coming up. But the integrations that I like the most are actually where with related to uploading these videos and these transcripts and these summaries onto your preferred knowledge platform. But let me show you all of the integrations that they have. They have the integrations with Pipedrive, HubSpot, with Salesforce, uh, with Google Meets, uh, that's what we already connected, with Zoom, WebEx, but let me connect it with Notion, show you exactly how this works here. So I'm gonna use my Notion here and I'm gonna give it access to my uh, YouTube channel Notion. And now whenever you create a video and summaries, you can now click to this file right here and click on send to, send to docs. And then I'm gonna click on Notion and I'm gonna send to AI notes. And I'm gonna just select my database here and I'm gonna select the Noda AI YouTube video script that I have here. And I'm gonna click on AI notes and I'm gonna send that over here. Now I'm back in my file where I have the script for this video. I can see See here that I added all of the different notes from my meeting that I demonstrated earlier. How cool is that? So you're probably wondering how much does all of this cost? And this is where the exciting part comes in. There is actually a free tier that allows you for up to 120 minutes per month. Let me show you exactly how much it costs. If you click on pricing, we can see that the free tier has 120 minutes per month um, with certain limitations. Then the next highest level, which is usually recommended for professional users is only $9 per month if you get the annual description and and $14 per month if you pay monthly. This now gives you uh, up to 1,800 minutes per month, which is over 30 hours per month. And it also gives you longer max duration per uh, of conversations. It allows you to transcribe uh, 100 uploaded files per month, and you can export your video recordings and transcripts. And then if you go up one more tier, and this is usually recommended for businesses and teams, this allows you now uh, unlimited minutes per month. So you can really record as much as you would like. And it also allows you up to five hour <laughs> meetings 
I'm not sure who has meetings this long and other cool things. But yeah, if you don't think you need these premium features, uh, you can just start with the free version and see if you need more later on. Here are three more tips that I wanted to share with you. And that is the first one is we want to add your note takers a few minutes early to the meeting so that it doesn't interrupt the flow of the meeting once you join the meeting. And the second one is you want to include speaker labels for important meetings. So these are meetings that if you import them, you want to include who is speaking because then it makes the whole transcription and summary part much, much easier. And then the third part is that you want to really figure out what kind of template works best for you and your use case. And then you want to stay consistent with that template and your team will really appreciate that. If you found this useful, let me know in the comments. One quick note though, I actually partnered up with Noda to create this video and this is sponsored by Noda, but I only partner up with brands that actually have cool technologies that I enjoy using. I think that their AI note taker is super useful and helpful and otherwise I wouldn't recommend it. And there is a link in the description that gives you certain perks when you sign up or try Noda for free. And it also supports my channel. So thank you so much for clicking that link if you are interested in trying out Noda. And if you're not interested, that's cool too. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.